What's up guys, welcome to Biggles Kicks. Hope you all had a great New Year's and that your 2019 has been going well so far. It's already January 25th. This is my first review so I'm pretty excited. And we have a very special review. This is a special G-Shock, um, part of the 7 Lucky God series. And this particular model is the G-7900. You got this cool little design on the box, which I really like. And here is the watch that we will be reviewing today. Hope you guys enjoy. So here is the box that the watch comes in. I just really like um, all the designs and artwork. Um, like the G-Shock lettering here. Um, it was all done by the same artist called uh, Toshikazu Nozaka. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so he did all of this, which is really, really cool. All of this artwork here, which is amazing. It looks so good. So pictured here is the Japanese god Ibisu. So he is the god of a large catch and good business. Um, so he's usually um, depicted with a sea bream, in this case the red sea bream, under his left arm and under his right arm we have the fishing rod. So I'll tell you a little bit about the seven lucky gods. Um, there are Japanese belief system um, and belief in the seven lucky gods are um, supposed to replace the seven um, misfortunes. So the seven great misfortunes are unusual events involving the sun or moon, unusual events involving the stars, wind and storm damage, um, water damage or flooding, fire, drought and theft. So belief in the seven lucky gods eliminates all of those and instead replaced with the seven blessings of happiness which is long life, good fortune, popularity, purity, authority, love and respect and abundance. So I guess Ibisu he is abundance, you know, a large catch um, as with the sea bream here. Um, but yeah, each of the gods they have um, originate and have um, from different backgrounds including Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism and Shinto faith. As I said, um, Ibisu, he is from Japan and Japanese culture. So if we open this up here, here is the watch. So I really really like this watch, the colour is amazing. We get this out here. So here is the watch. The G-7900. Get it to focus properly. There we go. So there is the watch. So on the watch straps we have this kind of scales, fish scales I guess representing the red sea bream also the red color um, I'm not sure what that is there to me it looks like waves and a shell or something but on here we have a sea bream picture there we have like a bronze on the buckle which is cool some sort of Japanese character there which I don't know what it means but yeah so it's really nice you have all the same functions all the buttons mode adjust split and reset start stop so I'll just run through all of the modes really quickly obviously you have your home time let's see there it's the 25th now if we press the mode button, it will take us to the moon. Um, so this moon um, function 
um, basically tells you the different phases of the moon and on different dates. So if you press the start stop button, so you change it to the 26th. If we keep going up, you see in that little circle, it's shading over and it's showing you what the moon will look like on those different dates. So on the second, the fourth of the second, it's going to be um, completely in full moon. Then again, if we press adjust, it's going to show you the tide. So again, if we press start stop, it's going to show you what the tide will be at at different times. And it's shown there with those little, like the wave, the lines, the bars. So as you can see, as I've changed the time, it's changing where the tide will come, high tide, low tide. So I've watched a few different reviews and I've, um, a lot of people say it's useful, you know, if you are a fisherman or, you know, wanting to plan a fishing trip because you can try to see what, where the tides are, the moon is, which obviously affects the tide. So that's really cool if we press the mode button again, you got stopwatch one, stopwatch two, you have a timer and alarm, world time, which I've set to LA and back to home time. So you know, it's really cool. I really love this watch. Um, really love the color and you know, it all kind of fits, you know, uh, Ibisu, you know, with a large catch with the water fish and you know, it has the different tides, which I really like. It's really cool. Um, I definitely recommend you guys pick up this watch. Um, there's some still available on a few sites. I'll leave links in the description. Um, also, one thing I forgot to mention is if you actually have all, if you manage to get all seven of these watches, when you hit the backlight, um, it will spell out G-Shock. So, I don't know if you can see here. So, there. Quite hard to see, but there's a G. There we go, focus it. Yeah. Hard to see. But um, yeah, so this is the first watch, so that's G. And then the rest of the watches will spell out G-Shock, which is really cool. I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist. Just quickly put this on for you. There you go. It's a really nice watch. Love the color. Um, yeah, I definitely think you guys, um, if you have a, a chance, you should definitely um, get this watch. It's amazing. And you know, have a little explore um, and research more about the Seven Lucky Gods. It's pretty cool. I only did a little bit of research, but um, it's awesome to learn about new faiths and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, this is the Bisu watch the first of the collection um, but yeah thank you guys for watching the review hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching the video um, if you guys would like to um, pick up one of these awesome watches as I said before I'll leave a link in the description if you could please like and subscribe hey. helps out a lot um, but anyway thank you guys for watching see you guys on the next review